welcome to another GEMDS training video. In this video, we will be covering the configuration of IPsec, also known as Internet Protocol Security, on the GEMDS Orbit MCR via the web interface. This is part three of a multi-part series of IPsec videos. Please see our other videos on this topic. Configuring IPsec on the Orbit MCR consists of the following. Configuring the VPN service, which includes the Ike policy, Ike peers, IPsec policy, and IPsec connections. Configuring the firewall service, which includes configuring a cell IP address set, a local NETS address set, a remote NETS address set, the input filter, the output filter, and a NAT rule. Next, we will configure the cell interface by verifying the correct input firewall filter is being used the correct output firewall filter is being used, and the correct NAT rule is being used. After logging in, you'll want to expand the Wizards tab, then click on the VPN Setup Wizard. At the starting screen, you can just press Next. We want to enable the VPN service, then press Next. Now you need to give the IPsec connection a name. Then press OK. Here you'll give the encryption algorithm, MAC algorithm, and the DH group. The defaults are fine for our setup. This message just means there are no certificates loaded on the orbit, so you must choose pre-shared key. This is fine for our example, so just press OK. Here we want to select Ike v2. Then under auth method, we'll select pre-shared key. Then we'll give it a pre-shared key. The other two parameters can be left as is. Then we'll press Next. For the local endpoint address, you'll want to put in your cell IP address. This will be the same for the local identity. Then for the peer endpoint address, you'll want to put in the peer's public IP address. and the same for its peer identity. We'll want to select peer identity, no IDR. Then for the role, we'll select initiator, and then leave the others as default. For the IPsec policy, the encryption and MAC algorithms are required, but the DH group is optional. In our case, our peer is using the DH group, so we want to select this. Now we can press Next. In our case, our local IP subnet is 192.168.63.128/26, and the remote subnets are 10.15.63.128/26. You'll just want to verify down below that in trusted and out trusted are selected. Then press Next. At the IPsec VPN Configuration Summary page, you can press Submit. Next, we will want to modify the In Untrusted Firewall filter. You can do this from the Firewall Access Control List wizard. We'll select In Untrusted, then we'll press Edit Selected, then at the bottom we want to select Add New Rule, that'll put a new rule at the bottom, but we want to move that up by one. 
as these are processed in order. For the type, we'll select UDP. Then under Destination, we'll type Ike for the service. Verify that Accept is selected. Then we need to add a second rule. Again, we'll move that up by one. And this time for the type, we'll select ESP, verify that Actions Accept is selected, and then press Next. After scrolling up, we can verify which rules are applied to which interfaces. The important one here is that the cell interface has the in untrusted and the out untrusted rules. After verifying that this looks good, we can press Next. And the summary screen, we can hit Submit. Next, we'll have to make a decision on the out untrusted rule. We have two choices. One is to allow only the VPN traffic out. In this case, you will need to modify the out untrusted rule as shown, and then delete the source NAT rule from the cell interface. The second option is to allow both the VPN and outside traffic out the cell interface. The out untrusted rule would have to be modified to match the following. Then the source snap masquerade rule will have to be modified to match what's down below. Let's go through option one first. Let's say we only want to allow VPN traffic out. First thing you'll want to do is expand wizards, then go to the firewall wizard, then press next, select out untrusted. Then select Edit. Here we want to create an address set called cell-ip. To do that, hit Create. Then we'll name it. In this case, the cell IP address set does not need an address, so we'll just hit Submit. Then over on the right, under Actions, we'll select Accept. Then just verify that Add Interface Address is checked up top, which it is, so we'll press Next. Again, we'll verify the firewall filters that are applied to the interfaces. That looks good, so we'll press Next, and then Submit. Now, as previously mentioned, we'll want to remove the NAT rule from the cell interface. You can do this from the source NAT wizard. We don't need to modify it, so we're going to press Next here. Then we want to remove the rule from the cell interface. Then press Next. And then press Submit. Now let's say you want to go with option 2 instead. You want to allow VPN traffic, but you may have a use for non-VPN traffic to be allowed out. Just like before, we'll go to the firewall wizard. We'll go to Out Untrusted, then press Edit. We want to add a new rule, then move it up. Under Source IP Mode, we want to select Address Set, 
than local nets. I want to make sure that add interface address is disabled. Press edit. We want to make this address set match our local nets. Then press submit. Now under destination IP, we want to select not address set. Now we want to create a new one called remote nets. This will be the same as the remote net subnet that we declared in the IPsec rule. That looks good, so now we'll press next. Verify the list, looks good, and then we'll press submit. Now we need to modify the source net rule. So we'll go into the respective wizard, select the checkbox, then press edit. Now here for the source IP, we'll select address set, then we'll select local nets, and over under destination IP, we'll select not address set, and then remote nets. Then press next. Now in the previous example we had removed the rule, now we want to reapply it. Press submit. Now that we've configured the IPsec tunnel and we've modified the firewall rules, let's verify the IPsec tunnel is connected. To do this, expand Services, then click VPN, then in the Status section, open up IPsec, then as you can see, our IPsec tunnel state is connected. Thank you for watching another GEMDS training video. For more information, please see our other videos or visit our website at GEMDS.com.